Now the story of an idea that didn't quite work out the first time, and the one twin with nothing better to do than help his brother try again. It's Waylon's last ditch effort. The heat was on. It was 108 degrees, and Waylon Getz had been asked by his brother to pick up some cutoffs that were very important. Got it, okay? Yeah, I pretend to be you, I sign for them, I bring them back here. You look like an asshole, by the way. And you look like a smelly beanbag. I would never wear that shirt. Grab something out of my laundry basket like you always do. Ah! And please, don't f anybody. What? Every time you pretend to be me, you always f somebody, and then I have to pay the consequences. Don't do that this time. Fine. Good. Always f the people. Uh, I'm gonna take your phone, okay? What'd you say? Waylon arrived a full 12 minutes late. We're closed. I know, uh, but I'm Paul Getz, and I, I'm always running late. It's just kind of one of my things. This wasn't necessarily true. I'm a real jerk. But Waylon was still sore about a recent incident. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Are you? Because you don't look very sorry. It's just hungry, hungry hippos. More like starving, starving hippos now. Yeah, come on guys, let's go. I'm like six minutes late. Anyways, uh, I I'm here to pick up my cutoffs? Got a receipt? Uh, no. I, I didn't give it to myself for some reason. <laughs> Probably because I'm such an irresponsible jerk. But how many orders of cutoffs can there be? Two. Oh. Well, um, can I have one of them? I'll, uh, make it worth your while. <laughs> So that happened, and Waylon headed home with the cutoffs. Or at least attempted to. As it turns out, there are a few things a Segway is not built to do, but only a few. Hello, my friend and weary traveler. May I be of assistance to you today? Sure. Yes, I've got him all right. Tied up in the back seat, wrapped up like a fat little pig in the blanket. But well, I'll just drop him off and then I'll head straight back to the theater. I haven't felt this alive in years. I think... Hello? Hello? Hello. <laughs> oh, hey, kidnapper. How did you get out? Oh, I'm really good with knots. He was. Why didn't you just put me out of my misery like the failure dog that I am? No, I get kind of bored on my own. Me too. I got some, some costumes in my trunk. You want to play dress up? Fuck yes, I do. <laughs> Ma'am. 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 <laughs> oh my. Oh my God! This man's having a heart attack. Oh, my heart! Oh, I don't oh, want to oh, have oh, a heart attack. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his face? <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm the kidnapper now. If you want your man back, you must give me seventeen dollars. Oh, with with Terrence. Off. Whoa! Oh! Someone's coming around the corner. Let's mess up his night. Stupid dick. Yeah, I I'm gonna have a Chicago accent, okay? <laughs> hey! You! You look like you're thinking about breaking the law. <sighs> you're a lot of trouble, son. Waylon? Oh! Hey, brother! Hey, I picked up the cutoffs! Where's the Segway? 
it had been stolen by this man. On the next Paul Getz's last ditch effort, Waylon delivers the cutoffs. Ah, they're supposed to be shorts. You know, like in the show. Oh, I've never seen it. And Paul, once again, pays the consequences. <laughs> Can I help you? Let's go for it. Well, uh, do I know you? 